So we've previously looked at what is uncertainty. Um, if at this point you're still unsure why we use uncertainty, why is uncertainty useful, make sure to click on the tutorial above to check that out. We've also taken a look at how uncertainty is calculated when we are adding or subtracting uncertainties. So say when we are adding two volumes of liquids together, um, what do we do with the uncertainties if they are different? In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at an extension problem relating to the addition and subtraction tutorial. So if you're still unsure about that, make sure to click on that link above as well. Um, otherwise, we're gonna delve deep into how addition and subtraction is used for measurements such as a burette. So a burette looks like this. This is an apparatus that is very accurate, um, one of the most accurate apparatus in a lab that we could have. You essentially have your liquid that you pour in from up top, um, and the liquid will get dripped down this way um, where you will turn this knob, and as you turn this knob, then the liquid would start coming down. So say we have a burette. Um, the initial measurement of this burette is this much. And the final is this much. So this is telling us that we need to somehow be able to calculate a way of measuring how much liquid we actually dripped out of that knob. This difference is going to tell us the volume of liquid that's being dripped out, and we need to calculate that. In order to do that, we first start with looking at the burette initial. Um, initially, this burette probably has a measurement of around, if you see, it starts at zero up here, and it goes to one milliliter. Um, from zero to one, we see there's a lot of little indices here. Um, it seems like there's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, for the big ones, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So just by looking at this, we see the bottom of the meniscus again, um, seems like it's a little bit over 0 0.5, 6, 7. So I decided that this meniscus probably has a volume of 0 0.72. 0 0.72, this means I'm reporting until the hundredths place. So my uncertainty also needs to be to the hundredths place. Um, this apparatus is really accurate, so my uncertainty is going to be pretty low, and I've set it at plus or minus 0 0.01 millimeters. Now, looking at the final, so this one runs from 49 to 50. Um, seems like it's also going by ones. So 49.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. So in this case, it seems like the mid bottom of the meniscus is at 41 to 3. So I'm going to set it um, at 49.39. Um, and again, this is to the hundredths. So I'm also going to have my uncertainty in the hundredths. And my uncertainty is set at 0 0.01 milliliters. So this means that if I did a high to low of my uncertainty range, right, this uncertainty tells us the range of the value that we, we predicted um, to be. So let's say the low could be 0 0.72 minus 0 0.01. So we could have a low of 0 0.71. We could have a high of 0 0.73 um, by adding an uncertainty of 0 0.01, so plus 0.72. Similarly, we can do the exact same thing for 49.39, and we would get 49.38 um, and 49.40. So, um, in order to calculate this unknown volume that we have uh, titrated out, that we have let the liquid drip out from, obviously we need to calculate some sort of a difference. So the difference is the final minus the initial. So when we're calculating this final minus initial, what is difficult about this problem is that you don't just, because you 
use your final minus initial, you might think, okay, this is subtraction, so this means that I need to subtract um, or I need to add um, my uncertainties together. In this case, this subtraction, although you're supposed to add up your uncertainties, you don't just add them up. You actually add up the range of the lows and the highs that we just calculated. So you could calculate this final minus initial by using the maximum value of the final, subtract the minimum value of the initial, so doing a crisscross, and you get 49.4 minus 0 0.71. This gives us 48.67. You could do the minimum of the final minus the maximum of the initial to get our second value, which is 49.38 minus 0 0.73. And this gives us 48.65. So using these two values, then we can calculate the final value that would come out. So the final value would be 48.69 minus 48.65, right? Um, you would, in terms of your um, average, you would want to calculate an average. So the average of 48.69 and 48.65, as we can see here, we add them up and divide it by 2, and it gives us 48.67. The uncertainty, then we add them up together. Again, um, uncertainties with any addition or subtraction, you always add up the uncertainties. So even when you're subtracting uncertainties, this doesn't mean that you subtract the uncertainties. You add them together. So the two uncertainties we have are 0 0.01 on both, in both cases. So this gives us a final value of 48.67 plus or minus 0 0.02.